With a necklace spelling happy, Ohud al-Rami took oath, shaking hands with Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum, the Prime Minister and Vice President of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Dubai. Al-Rami has previously held several positions within the Dubai government and the federal government, including that of Director General of the Prime Minister's Office. According to a profile on the UN Foundation website, she holds a master's degree in business administration and a bachelor's in economics. The Prime Minister's office reported Sheikh Mohammed urging the ministers to work together as a team in the developmental march to make the UAE one of the best nations in the world. PM Sheikh Mohammed announced the new lineup last week via his official Twitter account. Happiness in our nation is not a wish, but there will be plans projects and programs and indicators and it will be part of the work of all our ministries and a part of our way of life. It is apparently part of a move to show that the government is offering more than simply providing basic services for its citizens. 22-year-old Western educated Shama al-Mazrui was made state minister for youth affairs. Sheikh Al-Lubna Al-Qasimi, the former development and international corporation minister, was made minister for tolerance. The announcement was mocked by some, including Human Rights Watch Gulf researcher Nicholas McGeehan, who tweeted back. UAE sets up a Ministry of Happiness. No plans for Ministry of Love, Peace, Plenty and Truth? The United Arab Emirates, which has one of the highest levels of GDP per capita in the Arab world, is seen as a haven of stability in a region beset by turmoil and where public devotion to the rulers is high and little dissent is tolerated. It is home to the glitzy Emirates of Dubai, which transformed from a desert black water to a global financial hub where thousands of Arab expatriates flock to seek professional and entrepreneurial opportunities and not available in as much supply in other unstable Arab countries. Lorraine Gabina, MTV World News.